Good morning, Canner family. I'm going to, uh, today is going to be a very special day to celebrate Carlos, uh, Carla Brown's accomplishment of 4,000 vaccines. So Tommy has done this video. This is a very special occasion to introduce Carla that has uh, started uh, this vaccination rollout. And uh, if I remember correct, the early piece in New York Times where she said it is for elderly, addressing the elderly, she said uh, it's either a vaccine or a grave. And she's right. I'm just actually trying to relate a story that I just heard from somebody who attended a funeral for this young man who is 52 years old, died of uh, COVID-19, not vaccinated. And uh, this individual walks into the funeral home uh, to mark the respect. And she was surprised that uh, half or most of them did not have masks and leave alone if they've been vaccinated. So we don't know what else do we need not to impress that you need to get vaccinated. But uh, it's a time that we need to move on. I think, you know, as a nation that we know uh, that uh, it is a, a pandemic, right? Uh, rightfully, the president said uh, it is the pandemic of the unvaccinated. So we, of course, we keep encouraging and motivating those people who are not, not vaccinated. But at the same time, we want to move on. And I think, you know, we have a booster that's available. So I'm going to take this opportunity to introduce Carla to see you know, if she can say a few words and get started with a, another a spike of vaccinations program, especially for the boosters. So Carla, if you don't mind starting your story, telling us your story and what you want to do, because this is a, a milestone in, in two decades of Canon Hospice uh, history that I just feel that you know, I'm so proud that I'm part of it. And I just cannot be so thankful to God that this is a great opportunity that you know, he has bestowed me to work with uh, Carlo and leaders like that within Canon Hospice. And uh, it just is a great sense of joy for me today. Carlo, take it from here. <laughs> okay, good morning to everybody. I hope you all can hear me. Uh, I'm in my car, so. Um, as Dr. Kula said, first of all, I want to always give thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ and then also to every person in the Canon family, the COVID crusaders that has worked mm -hmm. alongside mm -hmm. to make this possible. But we need to also be mindful that the booster shot has been approved. 
what we would like to do now is reach out to every Canon facility, to your employees, your patients, your families, to receive this booster vaccine, especially those that have the Pfizer. Uh, I can't stress this enough. We made the first step. Now we got to complete it. And we are still right now uh, vaccinating some first timers. It, it hasn't slowed. Um, and, you know, they're still coming into Paul's Broad alone. Um, the COVID crusaders are still inoculating first timers. We have a opportunity to go to an inpatient where I think it's going to be right at 100 people, first time getting this vaccine. So, it, you know, we as a country have to win this battle. We can't do it alone. It's going to take all of us having quality conversation. The vaccine is made to protect us. And once again, you know, football season is here. I'm looking at all of these stadiums just packed with people. And I'm like, my God, is everybody vaccinated? Because once again, no mask. And we keep getting these super uh, spurs and the hospital get overwhelmed. But it's because of the unsafe practice. So we need prayer for God to touch the unvaccinated people heart to remove the fear from the signs and the lack of trust in it and to just do the right thing out of love for their family and for themselves right now. You know, once again, nobody, nobody today should be dying of COVID when we have the vaccine. I can't tell you how many nights I'm waking up in tears like, if David would have been here, he could have had a vaccine to save him. But they have a vaccine and they rather choose to go to their grave. I don't mind dying when my time come because my hope, my trust is in the Lord Jesus Christ. But why rush your death? Because you don't have to die right now. So, I, I, I mean, my heart always is overwhelmed about it because as you know, it's a personal, it's a very personal, deep hurt for me. I mean, I, I wish it would give a, a, a mandatory order that you can't move out of your house unless you're vaccinated. We can get this thing done. But it's about trust and it's about loving yourself and protecting others. Where have we in America stopped loving? You got to first love yourself before you can love somebody else. The value of life has changed in America. So uh, once again, to any, any facility under the Canon umbrella, whether it's your family, your coworkers, uh, people you know that need the booster shot. Guys, I have a max supply. So we can come and do the vaccination. We can come and do the uh, registration and get the boosters in these arms. And for those that are first time, we welcome them as well. Dr. Kula, thank you. Thank you, Carla. <clears throat> it is again, uh, very, very, you know, <clears throat> so gratifying to me to say that, you know, this is a significant accomplishment that you and your leadership, you know, has done. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, all of us need to learn and understand that Canon Hospice does not just take care of dying people. It cares for the living. And the hospice, uh, from my vision, is, is about living, living well and saving lives through this COVID uh, vaccination roll-up. So I would uh, request you know, all uh, the staff and the administrators to group and then perhaps plan on uh, vaccination within our employees and 
the families and any other friends that may be interested. You know, Pfizer booster is available, Moderna may be available soon. And also in terms of caller, you did mention about the prayers. Uh, we are going to have an upcoming event. This is going to be a second annual uh, pastoral care celebration. As you see here, the chaplains you know, play a mm. great role in the, the medical care of these patients. And so we're going to do that on 26th. The town hall meeting on the 26th would be pastoral care celebration. So I want you to kind of gather uh, leaders of different denominations because we want to unify in trying to serve this community, unify, you know, all faiths, you know, all beliefs, all groups, all religions, everybody. And so we all need to come together. This is our time. And also a special thank you to the pastoral care uh, group that always, you know, serve the patients in the hospitals uh, in addition to the medical therapy. So I, I want you all to keep in mind and maybe contact if there are any leaders that have, you know, special, you know, words of wisdom, uh, prayers, songs, or, or sounds, uh, you know, all of them. It's going to be exciting because I've already got some very positive feedback from a few people. And I think, you know, if you can look back at the, the YouTube presentation that we had from the first time, you would see, you know, how well it was done. So, uh, so uh, I will encourage everybody to, you know, tell a lot of people and uh, that we're going to do that on the 26th, which is a Tuesday, which is going to be one of our, uh, you know, town hall meetings just like this. 